Ah, okay, so you might have hurt yourself, your knee's really sore, you might have tweaked your ankle, or maybe even your back or low back or hips are sore. And so in today's video, I wanna help you stay fit, continuously work out, but also provide you with some ideas on how you can modify while still going to the gym. So the first thing that I wanna tell you is that whenever you tweak something, no matter what the injury is, is that for the first week, if you have pain starting on, let's say on a Monday, you come in and your knee is really sore to the point where it's just like hard to get in and out of your car, then that entire week you need to focus on body weight. Okay, I'm gonna tell you just focus on body weight. If you went and seen an exercise like physiologist or you went and seen a physio, they're gonna try and have you do exercises that's focused on low weight bearing, just moving your body through range of motion because the body's gonna heal itself, right? Think about like an injury, like a, like a piece of board, right? So it's all stiff and then what happens is like you start to mold it, right? You mold the clay and it'll start to realign itself. But you can't go from like, my knee is extremely sore, I can't even get out of the car, to like all of a sudden lifting the heaviest weights in front of you because you start to feel better. If you come into Monday and you've got something that is, you know, either minor or major, you need to focus on just moving the body and using body weight. Now, when it comes to any of the lower body stuff, so when it comes to your ankle, and let's say that you do roll your ankle, but you're able to walk on it, but walking should not lead to any form of jumping. And there's ways that you can modify and do a lot of the exercises without actually having to do any type of leaping or bounding or even bouncing on that ankle. The same thing goes with the knee. When it comes to the knee, instead of going all the way down and all the way up, you can still focus on loading the quads and the thighs and the knees, but just focus on less range. So if you're unable to do full range with body weight, then the next step is to focus on partial range with body weight. Your first goal is to get back to full range with body weight, and then we can add resistance to that. But for now, focus on partial movements. Focus on low impact. Just because you sprained your ankle doesn't mean that you can't go to the gym and do other things, which leads to this. Instead of running, you should focus on walking, okay? We always wanna take the load and we wanna decrease it. So the highest load that you can do for your body is resistance with a plyometric. What's a plyometric? So I'm gonna use jumping, okay? So if you held weights and you did a box jump, that would be the most difficult thing that you can do. So what's the digression from that? Well, now you get rid of the weights, okay? And you focus on the body weight jumping. What's the digression from that? Is that instead of jumping onto a box, you jump straight up in the air. What's the down step from that? Instead of jumping, you focus on just resistance, but no jumping, right? What's a digression from that? You get rid of the weights, you go body weight. What's a digression from that? You go partial range. And then what's the next step from that? Is that instead of actually doing the lower body exercise because you're unable to bend the knee, let's say you're even in a cast, then what we wanna do is get you down to the floor and do something different. And the easiest thing that you can do that's different is attack the core. I mean, who doesn't want a six pack? Who doesn't want nicer abs, right? <laughs> so what you can do instead of doing any lower body exercise, you can still be in the culture and the community and moving with everybody and, and talking with everybody. So you don't have to do this journey alone. You can still go to the gym. You would just go down to the floor and do some type of abs. If you need ab suggestions, look up abs when you go to the Fit Club Winnipeg channel and there I created a three-week series of just amazing abs that you can do instead of doing the lower body exercises. Now some of us might struggle with getting up and down the floor and so if you go to the Fit Club channel on YouTube you're going to look up standing abs okay so instead of doing crunches where you got to get down to the floor and then you got to stand back up which gets difficult because if your knee you can't bend and you just take too much time to get up and down then we can do everything while we're standing, right, in the spot. We can still engage the abs. Remember, it's all about body movements because we're gonna move you from just moving your body to moving your body through its full range of motion to full range of motion to weighted, from weighted to explosive. And that's the way that we gotta go. So based on where you are or where you were, we need to move you down or we need to move you up in the spectrum, but we gotta understand that we gotta be patient, 
We got to make sure that we're doing these things right. But most importantly, we can never give up. Just because something isn't working 100% doesn't mean that the rest of us isn't working 100%. Because you got to understand that you got this. The coach has got you, so continue to go forward. Now, if you like this video, make sure to give the video a like. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. Please share the channel onto your Facebook profile so that your friends and family can start seeing these videos and maybe you can inspire them to make that 1% better change. And if anybody out there isn't with Fit Club and you're looking to get started either virtually or in-person training, go to our website, www.fitclub.fit and send us a message today.